Before Earth, before us there was chaos, and out of that chaos the sun was born. Before there was Earth, before there were planets, before life even existed, there was just a cold, dark cloud floating in space. But then, something happened. Something big. This cloud collapsed, ignited, and gave birth to the star that powers our entire existence. The sun. Let's travel 4.6 billion years into the past, to witness the birth of a star. It all began inside a giant molecular cloud, a massive cold region of space filled with gas and dust. These clouds are like stellar nurseries, scattered across our galaxy. And in one of them, something triggered a collapse. It could have been a nearby supernova sending shockwaves through space, or maybe just gravity working over millions of years. Whatever the cause, once the collapse began, there was no stopping it. Gravity pulled the gas and dust inward, tighter and tighter, forming a spinning core. This was the birth of a protostar, the sun's first heartbeat. As the protostar grew, pressure and temperature in its core skyrocketed. Imagine this, the core reached over 10 million degrees Celsius. That's when the magic happened. Nuclear fusion began. Hydrogen atoms slammed into each other with such force that they fused into helium. This fusion released an enormous amount of energy, and for the first time, the sun turned on. A new star had officially been born, shining brightly for the first time in the darkness of the cosmos. But the sun's story didn't end there. The remaining dust and gas around it began to stick together, forming planetesimals, then planets, and eventually, our solar system. Jupiter, Saturn, Earth, all formed from the leftovers of the sun's birth. And the sun? It settled into a stable phase known as the main sequence, where it's been ever since, burning hydrogen into helium for the last 4.6 billion years. Without the sun, Earth wouldn't exist. There'd be no warmth, no light, no life. The sun gives us photosynthesis, weather, gravity, seasons, and energy. It's the reason we wake up to a sunrise, the reason oceans stay liquid, and the reason life is even possible. We literally owe everything to this glowing ball of hydrogen in the sky. But like all stars, the sun has a clock ticking. In about 5 billion years, it will run out of fuel, expand into a red giant, and eventually die. But until then, it's the life giver, the guardian, and the blazing heart of our solar system. If this blew your mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic stories, and remember, Every sunrise you see is the result of a 4.6 billion year old explosion still going strong.